As the Quad City DJs once said, come on ride the train, the hazy hype train. Just firing up the barbecue tonight, and I'm gonna try this new beer from Bolter Brewing Company, the Hazy. Another new beer and another new awesome video released to the market by Sterling & Co. And of course, with the hype, comes the usual divided craft beer drinking population in Australia. On one side of the equation, you have what I like to refer to as the flavor flaves. Don't, don't, don't believe the hype. Those guys make it almost impossible for themselves to be able to love a hyped up beer. And on the other side of the equation are the fanboys and girls that will beat you down if you get in between them and the beer that they're chasing. This is the last beer of the four pack that still sent to me, so I'll give you one guess where I sit on the matter. A quick check of social media sees a lot of people jumping on the haze train and posting photos and reviews about this beer, which I think is absolutely fantastic for the industry. In my opinion, I think it's okay if you lose your shit over a beer. Everyone wants to get a piece of the hype train. I even noticed my old mates at Batch Brewing Company this week tried to jump on board by tagging Bolter in their Instagram post for their hazy fruit sour beer and asking Bolter if they would be their Valentine. For those of you that aren't aware of those beers that Batch put out in their Fruit Sour series, they're all named after old rappers, and then they use the lyrics from the songs from those guys to have a bit of fun on their social media posts. So for the Hazy, named after Jay-Z, they said, well, they got 99 problems and Bolter ain't one. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Enough about the hype, does the beer live up to it? It looks bloody fantastic in the glass. Golden orange, nice and hazy with a beautiful white head going on. Now the haze comes from the hop oils in the beer mixing with the yeast and not putting some other kind of adjunct into the beer to get that hazy effect. Aromas of, well, pick something out of your fruit bowl and chances are you're gonna get it in this beer. Melon, citrus, grapefruit, it's all in there. Ah, Scotty, you've made a delicious beer. Mango and melon going on there. Really, really juicy. Just a pang of bitterness on the back end, which is really nice. I might even call it a quaffer. A beer with a sunset glow and a beautiful juicy taste. Just perfect for the end of a hot Aussie summer. So I reckon, get on board the hazy hype train. So until we talk again in this great big craft beer land of ours, go and check out the Beer Healer interviews on your favorite podcast service. And as always, cheers to great beers.